Hello, in this video I'm taking out the Mobilink TNC3 for a longer field test. Right, hello. So today I'm out to do a bit of videoing, a change of plans last minute. I was I, I was going to do a wild camp, um, however I left my house really late, had lots of chores to do at home, uh, had tasks to complete at home. I'm just driving now to a spot called the Roaches which is a well-known spot for amateur radio folk it's a lovely piece of uh, high ground uh, it's a HEMA uh, summit as well so it's a um, uh, it's a well-liked uh, piece of uh, the P district for um, <clears throat> for amateur radio folk so I'm gonna head there now I'm going to go for a walk along the top of the ridge of the Peak dish here, the, the roaches. Uh, I'm going to be testing out the Mobilink TNC3. I'm going to do a little bit more of a field test of that. So that's one of the videos. I'm just going to go for a walk, try a few features, uh, and see how it does for um, beaconing and messaging and such like. So I've just got to be mindful that the camera doesn't go flying when I go over this cattle grid. Here we go. Oh, it's a bone shaker that is. Uh, so I'm just about 10 minutes away from the parking for the roaches um, and it's a mixed bag of weather today. Sunny then um, it throws it down the rain and then it gets sunny again. So we can expect hail or anything uh, in the next hour. So um, uh, lovely uh, mixed British uh, weather. So we're uh, going to walk uh, to some high ground and to just see how it performs with some beaconing and some messaging as well. So this is a more in-depth field test of the mobile linked TNC3. So I, uh, the weather today is so British, it's absolutely beautiful and sunny you now, it's a wind blowing across but that's okay, temperature at the moment is about 12, 13 degrees, it's set to drop to about 2 degrees, maybe lower tonight and I'm camping out, well I'm glamping more than camping but I'm actually wearing my <laughs> slightly thicker hiking trousers uh, which are great when the weather when the temperature drops later I'll be uh, be thankful for wearing these thicker trousers well at the moment with this this incline that I'm walking up it means that I'm actually generating too much heat I can try and open some vents on the trousers a little bit but um, that's the uh, that's the challenge when you're when you're walking or when you're camping and the weather can sway by about 15 degrees or so during the night it's difficult to know what to wear especially on the on the legs but uh, not a major thing it's just uh, irksome I think I'd say it's quite a nice word irksome anyway onwards and upwards always reminds me of when I come to play 
places that's got these weathered rocks like this always reminds me of this uh, scene out of the uh, 1960 Star Trek when uh, Captain Kirk is fighting an alien with all the sort of ba backdrop obviously without the greenery but uh, yeah it's a good old aliens wrap <laughs> can make it out from here but just on just up there where uh, up there somewhere there's a little white trick point so that's where we're heading today just to uh, have a walk up have a sit down get a drink and uh, check some of the APRS activity it's I may have to come back down here a little bit because there's going to be a little bit exposed up there the trick points Whereas down here I've got some of the surrounding uh, surrounding rocks so these might actually give me a little bit of shelter and a little bit of shadow, a little bit of darkness because trying to operate the, um, the Android phone and the screen on, the, uh, on this uh, Canon uh, can be uh, a bit tricky in the sunlight and the reflections on the glass but uh, we'll have a go, we'll go up to the trick point anyway and um, and then we may just come back down just to check uh, what sort of packets we're receiving on APRS. find a more secluded spot and check hopefully we've got some APRS activity recorded hopefully we've got some APRS activity on the APRS droid it should be running in the background with the Android screen switched off so okay yeah let's find somewhere that's uh, less windy gonna go for that over there I think let's try that Now it's not looking good. I am um, quite surprised. I uh, it seems like I'm getting um, packets out. Um, however, I'm not receiving anything, so I just need to open up the mobile linked the mobile linked app and just check the input. Um, Maybe the input wasn't high enough. Okay, so the <coughs> now that I've turned up the volume on the Bofang, I'm getting uh, receiving lots of packets. I've also received a weather report as well. Uh, weather report's looking good. So that's that's uh, that's good. So uh, yeah, it's working really well now. So I'm going to get grab a cuppa, and then we're going to head back down now. Uh, so. Uh, again, this is the second test. Oops, sorry. This is the second test of the um, of the TNC, and uh, it's working absolutely fine. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice, simple device. Fits well into the Rush 24 in the top pocket, so it's sitting there quite nicely, uh, not in the way. So yeah, very happy with that. Okay, hope you found that useful. 
Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, or thumbs down but please tell me why and uh, if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button please because it really helps me to develop the channel so yeah uh, bye bye for now from the beautiful uh, roaches